A cubic function has a y-intercept at 0, 6. And when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 8, dy by dx is equal to 4, and the second derivative is equal to 0. Find the equation of the original curve and then sketch the curve. OK, so what we've got to do is a cubic has a form of y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And we've got to find the values of a, b, c and d from this information here given in the question. OK, so if we differentiate this and we treat a as a, a constant, i.e. a number, you just bring down the 3, you get 3a and reduce the power by 1 and get x squared. You can do the same here to be x and then if you differentiate cx you just get c it's like if you differentiate 2x you get 2 so this will just be c and then if you differentiate a constant you, it just becomes zero so we don't bother writing it in and then if we do the second derivative we're going to get uh, 6ax plus 2b now the reason for doing this obviously it reduces the number of coefficients and then we start trying to use the information. So we'll start with the second derivative. So when x is 2, so when x is 2, the second derivative is 0. So we can substitute in here 2 instead of x. So we get 6a times 2 plus 2b is equal to 0. And then 2 times 6 gives me 12a plus 2b is equal to 0. And then we can uh, divide both of these by 2 and 0 by 2 as well. We get 6a plus b is equal to 0. And we'll call that equation 1. And we'll come back to that later. Right, if we want to find dy by dx, even, even though I haven't got it, obviously you would integrate this to get it. And you would end up with this. So you get 3ax, 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. And then we are told when x is 2, dy by dx is 4. So what we're going to do, we're going to substitute 2 in here and put it equal to 4. So we get 3a times 2 squared plus 2b times 2 plus c is equal to 4. Well, 2 squared is 4, so it's going to give me 12a. And then 2 times 2 is going to give me 4b plus c is equal to 4. We're going to call that equation 2. y will be the integral of the derivative. So that will take us back to the cubic, which is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And we are told that the curve passes through the point uh, 0, 6. We were told that 6 is the y-intercept. So that's quite stro straightforward, because when x is 0, that means that d would have to be equal to 6. So we can get d is equal to 6 from that. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 8. So we'll now substitute that in. So we're going to get a times 2 cubed plus b times 2 squared plus c times 2 plus d, plus d which we now know to be 6, is equal to 8. 2, th 2 cubed is 8, so we're going to get 8a. 2 squared is 4, so we're going to get 4b. And then we're going to get 2 times c. And then if we take the 8 over here, that will now be equal to 2. And we'll call the, um sorry, these are all divisible by 2. So we'll just divide them down by 2 to make life easy for ourselves. We get 4a plus 2b plus c is equal to 1. We'll call that equation 3. Now from 1, if you can remember what 1 was, if 6a plus b is equal to 0, we can say that b is equal to minus 6a. So we will now substitute that into here. And here, that will eliminate b, and we'll just get down to two unknowns. We can go back and find b once we found them. So we'll substitute both that into 2 and 3. So substituting into 2, we're going to get 12a plus 4 times b, which is now minus 6a, plus c is equal to 4. So 12 minus 24 is going to give me minus 12a plus c is equal to 4. That's going into 2, and then into 3, we're going to get, we'll call that equation 4, sorry. And then we're going to get 4a plus 2 times b, which is minus 6a, plus c is equal to 1. 2 times minus 6 is minus 12. Minus 12 plus 4 gives me 8. So we get uh, minus 8, sorry, minus 8a 
plus c is equal to 1. We'll call that equation 5. Now, if we do 4 take away 5, that will eliminate c. So we've got minus 12. You have to be a bit careful here. Minus 12 minus minus 8 will give you minus 4a. The c's will disappear, and 4 take away 1 is 3. That's good, because that gives me that a is minus 3 over 4. If we now substitute that back into 4, so we'll now put that value of a, that will give me c. So we get minus 12 times minus 3 over 4 plus c is equal to 4. 4 goes into 12, uh, minus 12 minus 3 times. Minus 3 times minus 3 gives me 9. Plus c is equal to 4. And then that will give me that c is minus 5. If we now substitute um, in this into 1, that will give me that b is minus 6 times minus 3 over 4. And OK, so 4 goes into uh, minus 6. Uh, so, sorry, 4 and 6 will cancel, so that will give me minus 3 and that will give me 2. So we'll end up with 9 over 2, because we're going to have minus 3 times minus 3, which is 9, and then 2 in the denominator. So we've now found all the coefficients. So the original cubic was ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus c. So putting our values in, a was minus 3 over 4x cubed, b is 9 over 2, and this will become 9 over 2x squared, c was minus 5, and d was 6. Having got that, we can then take our graphics calculator out, and if we use the uh, graphic calculator, be using a graphics calculator and then we'll get a graph looking like this now so let's just check everything's correct this will go through the point zero eight it also goes through the point two eight the gradient of the tangent or the equation of the tangent is four x at that point so that means the gradient is at four and the tangent does cross from one side to the other because this is actually a non-stationary point of inflection, which might be done a bit later on your course. So that does follow the second derivative being equal to zero at that point. OK, so this has been a video to show you how to find the uh, equation of a cubic by using its uh, derivatives and giving a bit of information, the y-intercept as well. Um, I hope you've understood it and I thank you very much for watching and you might also consider subscribing to my channel where you will find thousands of videos on, on, on for A-level maths. Thank you very much for watching.